With the embryology of the eye, now the derivatives of the eye are from these three germinal layers. Number one, ectoderm. Number two, mesoderm. And number three is your neural crest cells. Now you have noted by now that there is no endoderm. So straight away you can remember in ophthalmology you have nothing to do with endoderm. No endoderm. So one of your options is ruled out. Right? No endoderm at all. You will have to choose from either ectoderm, mesoderm or neural crest cells. Let's try to simplify ectoderm. Ectoderm we know is further divided into surface ectoderm and neuroectoderm. For surface ectoderm you will use the mnemonic level. These are the derivatives of your surface ectoderm. L stands for the lens, E for epithelium, V for vitreous and L for again lacrimal apparatus. Surface ectoderm level, surface ectoderm level. Again and again, just try to memorize this. So the two L's are lens and lacrimal apparatus. E is for epithelium and V is for vitreous. Now let's look at neuroectoderm. Some more derivatives from the ectoderm. So your mnemonic will be more. Okay. More M stands for muscles of the pupil. That is the sphincter and dilator pupillae. O is for optic nerve. Neuro, right? Optic nerve. R is for the retinal pigment epithelium and the retina. That is all the 10 layers of the retina. Neurosensory and RP. E is for epithelium of ciliary body and iris. This can get a bit confusing. Neuroectoderm gives rise to epithelium of only the ciliary body and the iris. V again is for vitreous. Everywhere you find a V, it's vitreous. Okay. So more is for neuroectoderm. Some more derivatives of ectoderm. Right. Now let's look at mesoderm. Meso and meso. Very simple. Meso is the mnemonic for mesoderm. M is for the extraocular muscles over here. That is your recti and the obliques. E is for endothelium of all the ocular and orbital blood vessels. S is for the sclera and Schlem's canal. And see, O doesn't stand for vitreous, but just to complete the mnemonic, we'll remember it as vitreous. See, vitreous comes from everywhere. Vitreous comes from all the parts of the uh, germinal layers. Let's proceed to the neural crest. Neural crest, all the remaining structures, there are a lot of structures that are derived from neural crest. Let's try to memorize only the important ones. The corneal stroma and the endothelial cells, the trabecular meshwork, the ciliary muscles, the melanocytes and the vitreous. Vitreous comes from everywhere. Okay, simple to remember that decreases your work. The neural crest cells will be uh, giving us corneal stroma, endothelial cells, trabecular meshwork, ciliary muscles and the melanocytes. That's it. That is all about what you have to remember in the embryology. of. Hello everyone. This is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico App. Now, thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.